I obviously have been working in this space for the past two decades. Um, you know, I, I think we've established proof of principle with NK cell therapy, but I think what is going on now is that there's many flavors. You know, my colleague Kitty Rizvani, who is talking this afternoon as well, I think was the first in a New England Journal of Medicine paper to put in a CAR-19 into an NK cell product. If you look at the industry involvement in the NK cell field, it's just kind of exploding right now. The last time I counted, there were somewhere between a dozen to 20 NK cell companies, you know, with various flavors, you know, whether they be IPS derived, umbilical color blood derived, peripheral blood derived NK cell lines. And I think now that we could do gene modifications with safety, it's really opened up a whole new field. You know, the T cell field has been very, probably about five years more advanced than the NK cell field. I think, um, you know, as I talk about NK cells a lot, the challenge, I think, to the NK cell industry is to try to have something commercialized in the next three to five years. The, the main selling point about NK cells is they're easier to manufacture as an off-the-shelf product, and they don't have graft versus host disease. In all the literature published so far, they should have a lower propensity to give cytokine release syndrome and neurotoxicity.